Just $35 of initial investment. No, I am not kidding. Many play-to-earn games will require you a large amount of money to get your first in-game NFT. But coin to fish enables you to earn high rewards with a low investment. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'll give you a quick guide to the game, all the details on how to get started, analyze its roadmap, and evaluate if this game could be a good investment for you. So let's get started. What is Coin to Fish? In short, Coin to Fish is a play to earn game with an aquatic theme. It runs on the Binance Smart Chain network, which is a positive aspect. Once it ensures you very low transaction costs, you can earn different types of sea creatures to participate in the game's self sustaining economy, which I'll explain better later. Actually, the project was built by a team of fish lovers. In its white paper, they say they would like in the future to allocate a part of the administrative tokens for tasks tasks related to the cleaning of seas and saving marine fauna. Coin to fish, it's not as sophisticated and interesting as Alluvium, Star Atlas and other games on trend right now, but certainly it's a good opportunity to earn passive income without spending hours playing or investing much money. Now, let's see what you need to get started. What do you need to get started? First of all, you need to connect your MetaMask wallet on the Coin to fish website. Without it, you won't be able to do almost anything there. Second thing to do is make your initial investment. Yes, just like many play to earn games in coin to fish you'll need to buy NFTs to get started. But how exactly does it work? Once you have connected your MetaMask wallet with their site, you'll be able to buy eggs in their store. All your purchases will be done through CTFT tokens, so you need to have them on your wallet. You got two options of eggs in coin to fish marketplace. Normal eggs, which usually give you common, uncommon and rare fishes, and rare eggs, which increase your chances to receive super rare, epic and legendary fishes. Here's a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to buy the eggs. Step 1. Access the coin to fish website. Step 2. Click on the shop button. Step 3. Buy the egg you want. Remember that depending on the egg you buy, you will have a different percentage of obtaining a better rarity. You'll need some luck when opening the eggs, and I hope you are luckier than many players, like myself, who hardly ever find rare NFTs. Of course, if you buy rare eggs, the chances of getting lucky increase, but this is not always how it works. Well, at least if you're a FIFA player, you're already used to the frustrating opening packs experience. In-game NFTs As we mentioned before, every fish in the game is an NFT. These NFTs have six levels of rarities, which can be common, uncommon, rare, super rare, epic and legendary. If you didn't have any luck with the egg opening, well, you got two main options. 1. Buy any fish you want on the coin to fish marketplace. 2. Wait for the next game update, when it will bring the fusion system that will allow you to give utility to fishes you don't use. But back to the fish rarity level subject, you need to be aware of something really important. You need to feed your fishes. Did you think it was that easy? Nope. Buying your NFTs is not enough. You need to make them gain experience points or XP. And if the rarity of the fish is higher, it will need more food to be fully fed. Depending on the food you use to feed your pet, it will gain a certain amount of experience. For example, one seaweed equals 5 XP, one apple equals 10 XP, one bread equals 15 XP. As you level up, your fish will change its appearance and increase the tokens earned each time it feeds. That's exactly what you heard if earning money is your main goal. Just by having rare NFT fishes, you earn rewards or so-called corals, which of course can be traded by real money. So don't let your fish get starved, okay? Roadmap The game is not complete yet, but the good news is that its roadmap is very well designed. This is the coin to fish roadmap. Everything in green was already developed and applied to the game. Some important updates will come soon, which brings us a bullish overlook about the game's future. Some of these upcoming updates will be real-time player versus player's gameplay, so it means 
you'll soon be able to play with other players. The fusion system we mentioned earlier, new partnerships, mobile launch and much more. Is coin to fish worth it? In view of all of this we have brought to you, we can say that the game has its pros and cons. The pro is precisely the fact that the initial investment is really low. A common egg, for example, is around $35, while a rare egg costs around $70. Compared to games like Axie Infinity and Illuvium, for example, this is a cheap investment. The cons is a not-so-engaging in-game experience, the fact you need to invest constantly because your fishes need to be fed, and the fact that the game isn't complete yet, giving you limited options to really enjoy while trying to earn money. The good news is that staking and farming features are already available, but it's just that. I don't know if this is the kind of game I would spend hours and put a large amount of money into, but I want to know your thoughts about it, guys. Would you think that coin to fish is a good investment? Tell me your opinion in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this game. Well, I believe that's it. It was a brief overview of the game with the main information to get started in our personal opinion. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button to help us out and reach more people on YouTube and create an engaged community around the best crypto, NFTs and blockchain games content. Also, subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications and check our other videos as well. Believe me, here you'll find key information to know everything about crypto even as a beginner. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be waiting for you in the next one. Oh.